Joining us now, Kelly Robinson, president of the Human Rights Campaign. Kelly, great to see you again. How are you feeling about the Respect for Marriage Act? I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling optimistic. You know, my wife and I were in the Senate gallery when the final vote happened. And it's not just about a wedding party or celebration. It's about ensuring that no matter what this extremist Supreme Court may do, if you are a same-sex or interracial married couple, you are going to have your marriage protected no matter what. And that includes if you move across state lines or if you're traveling across the country. And marriage isn't just about the ceremony. It's about the 1,100 federal benefits that also come with that marriage. So this is an important milestone and marker. And we also know that we've got a lot of work to do ahead. Mm -hmm. So overturning Roe was unimaginable until it happened. So how is the human rights campaign preparing for the possibility that this Supreme Court could strike down Obergefell, which made marriage equality a constitutional right? Yeah, I mean, Clarence Thomas has already said that he's coming for marriage next. That is a reality that we're sitting with. And that's also why the Respect for Marriage Act is so important. And I can say that even on Monday, the Supreme Court is going to be looking at the 303 creative case, right, which is another it's Masterpiece Cake Shop 2.0, a mm. case that's in front of them to legalize discrimination. It is so clear that we've got a long road ahead to actually get to freedom and equality. But this is an important step along that journey. And what about the states where, um, let's say Obergefell is overturned, those 35 states where um, same-sex marriage is illegal on the books, what about those states and the, and the LGBT folks who live in those states who might want to get married? What about them? This is another reason why the fight ahead is long, right? What the RMA does is it protects the status quo. It ensures that if you are married today, no matter what the Supreme Court does, your marriage will be valid. You'll get access to those federal benefits, which range from being, able, being safe and secure in your retirement to building the family of your dreams, to being able to see your loved one when they're sick. That's important. However, we also know that there is so much more work to be done. In too many ways, it is legal to discriminate against LGBTQ plus Americans in this country. That has to stop. To those folks that are living in those states, I'm saying the fight ahead continues and we are fighting for it. We're fighting for things like the Equality Act to end discrimination mm. against our people in this country. And isn't the Equality Act, that's the big act that, ne that needs to be done. That's, come on, the Equality Act is bigger than, than the RMA. Glad that it's going to be passed, but the Equality Act is more far-reaching, no? Oh, absolutely. And I also want to say, like, this is a matter of policy catching up with where people are. Eighty percent of people in this country support non-discrimination against the LGBTQ plus community. And I'm not naive. I know that this next Congress is going to be a challenging one to get anything moved and to really make policy change happen. But we're going to continue that fight ahead. We've got to win it for our people.